Hello Aquarians and cross watchers, welcome to your video. So I have channeled a song today, not a message, just a song, and it's called Do You Really Want to Hurt Me by Culture Club. Anyway, I'll put the song with the lyrics in the description box below. You can check it out if you want to. Um, but before I get into all that, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you all for being here and I want to thank you all for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I do want to give a quick update. Those of you who were worried about Kathleen as I was, I did um, hear from her family and she did pass away. Um, so I just uh, wanted to give an update. Some of you were following that as well and I did find out. So um, our prayers are going to be with her family at this time. I'm going to say the prayer now. We'll get into the reading and uh, hope you guys are having a great Sunday or Monday, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings you've given to myself and everyone else who's here. I want to ask for protection for us and our loved ones from harm, illness, evil eye, whatever we may need protection from. I want to ask that you help Kathleen's family during their time of need, um, help comfort them in any way uh, possible to help them through this harsh time. I also want to ask that you help those who are suffering um, in general, suffering from war or just suffering from anything that's going on in their personal lives. I would like to ask for permission to be able to see what it is I'm allowed to see in this reading so that I can give the highest, most divine messages uh, possible to those who need it. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I don't know uh, exactly what's going to come out. When I listen to the song, it, um, you know, it, it talks about possibly something that's a repeat or that's been an on and off. So it's like um, maybe somebody is dealing with a person where they're just sort of in and out, whether it's love or not, or a situation that's sort of in and out. And it's like you get used to it and then they're back out again. All right. <laughs> and that can be in any kind of relationship. All right. Not just love relationships. So sometimes you'll have a friend group, right? And your friend is hanging out with you and then this other person comes back around in the group and then they start hanging off with that other friend and sort of forget you. So... It can go any kind of way. Most importantly, let's see what wants to come out here. Show me what I need to see for this reading. Thank you. We have movement. Movement. Thank you. All right. So we have the first card out is movement. We have an ostrich carrying, um, and carrying like an island on its back and moving somewhere. Kind of like a turtle who carries all of its items with it and then we have a little hot air balloon over there and you might be moving toward um, a better situation you might be leaving something back here that's in this hot air balloon you might be leaving it behind because this hot air balloon is in back um, and maybe you're just looking at somebody who is just full of hot air like I'm just you know you're always saying the same thing you're full of hot air I'm just sort of moving the other way um, you know, you are stable. I feel that you are the one in movement. You are the one who's stable. And this is also like going from the ocean, going from the water to the ground. I feel that you're grounded. So there's something over here. Maybe the hot air balloon represents a, a fire sign. doesn't have to be. Uh, maybe this represents an earth sign or grounding. But I feel that you are moving away from things that are inconsistent and that you're moving toward what is grounded, what is solid in your life. And that's really the overall message I'm getting. My throat wants to mess up. That's usually like some sort of divine masculine energy. Okay, we have the storm, the goblins, the spark, and the tidal wave, the ride the wave. This is stuff that you don't see. These cards came down, face down. This card came up. I feel you have, you're going toward a... Uh, um, Another person, okay, who is like you, peaceful, grounded, loving, 
All right. Maybe you don't see that's what's coming. Okay. Because of a move or because you have decided to ground yourself and be realistic in your life. Um, going toward things that are realistic, sort of leaving hot air, hot fluff or whatever behind. So I feel strongly this is what the message is. You don't see that there's someone like you coming in. And it can it can be um, a friend. Not everybody's looking for love, you know. Some people are just looking for someone to kind of hang out with, do fun things with. I mean, that's kind of the stuff I'm looking for. You know, not everybody's looking for love. But for those of you who are, you know, this is a person who you can do. <laughs> you can swim with this person, go places with this person. You both will be, I feel, grounded and peaceful because... I'm drawn to the piece of the, of the violin, and I'm drawn to the ground. So I do feel that you're moving towards somebody like that. I'm going to put these two together here. Now, what you don't see, or maybe what others are going to realize, we have this change. We have number, number five here. Also, 14 turns to five, and we have 28 turns to 10. Those are both changes, endings, and cycles here. And then we have this... 34, which turns to 7, that's the chariot, and that's rather soon. We have storm fields, and we have goblins, and I feel that it's going to be, you know, literally, obviously, weather can affect us, and sometimes people have to move because of, uh, it's just not safe to live in a place anymore. Literally, we don't have a choice. Now, there's going to be some situations that could be like that this year, but... I feel that this change is pushing pushing you into a new direction because there is there's something around you that you possibly just uh, maybe you see that isn't good for you maybe you don't see that isn't good for you there's a reason for this change it's very necessary because we have like here a little home and then we have like these little sort of eyes watching little spies and it's goblins and maybe you're going to be um, taken out before the storm comes in, whatever that is, even if it's eyes watching your place, eyes watching you. I'm drawn to the pattern of the sidewalk. It's like a checkerboard, so it's like checkmate. I feel like you're going to be one up on a situation, and not maybe you know about it, but it also could be you're going to be ahead of the situation because I feel spirit is going to push you out. Of something that's not meant for you sort of like somebody can't avoid avoid this tornado I feel like spirit is going to push you out just in time because you see that the house is here the tornadoes coming so I do feel like something is coming for you just in the nick of time you don't see it you're not aware of it and it's going to cause I heard thrust I heard thrust forward movement and this is where there's another person involved here Someone could literally um, rescue another person without even another person realize they're being rescued, you know. Um, so I feel something happens here just in the nick of time. I really do. I really do. Because we have ride the tidal wave. We have movement. Everything is on this, this ostrich's back. This hot air balloon being just that, something that has the potential to go wrong and you avoid it you avoid whatever it is and you have the help of spirit and you may have the help of another person because spirit works through that person or vice versa you could be the person who's helping i don't know keep in mind if you're dealing with an aquarius roles can be reversed but this does look like something that's coming toward a person and they just sort of miss just in time they miss the storm they miss the tower they miss whatever this is, this ill energy, this um, negative energy. And someone is led to a stable place, a calmer place. Love. We have Ace of Cups. That's a beautiful first card out. It's also an opportunity from the universe that's being given to somebody here. Somebody might act on love. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. You know, like I said, the song is, do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? I feel a painful situation is leaving your life or 
it will be before the another opportunity for pain to happen or another tower has a possibility to happen you're going to be taken out whatever this is is beautiful though we have love and ten of cups this is family this is love this is creating a family together this is also solid ground we have this water over here some of you might be moving to the mainland okay leaving a place that is notorious for some of these storms and things like that but it doesn't matter more importantly you're being moved in the nick of time you're being moved out of a place that is no longer meant for you the goblins are there the storm is going to approach where those goblins are at and so you're being aligned with other uh, earth angels I just heard like yourself you're being moved away from the goblins you're being moved away from the storm and what is moving you is love there is a person or an individual that you're aligning with who's like you and it's love it's based on love it's based on love here give me another aspect to this give me another aspect to this reading please We have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. And this Ten of Swords, this person has just stood up after going through something very difficult and is now on their way starting over. Because after the Ten, we start over. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Emperor in reverse. Now, some of you are not returning to a place or a person that's been inconsistent in your life. You have de determined that you want peace in your life. Okay? And literally, we have this person who's out in the cold or outside of a place. All right? You might be returning to a place that's um, known to be safe for you. If you guys hear that, and there's some... There's some people having a party across the street and they really have cranked up the music. Anyway, it's, it's crazy. Anyways, if you hear that, that's what that was. But this is determined to have peace here. All right? Determined to reduce your stress. Literally the countryside here. Okay? Some of you might be moving to a countryside, getting away from the coastline. We have here... This Five of Pentacles reverse and this Emperor reverse. Now I'm going to clarify that Emperor is Aries energy. It also can be Divine Masculine energy. It can be a father figure or uh, elder. It can be the government. So I want to clarify because whatever it is, it's tied to a hard ending. But I feel it is, if there's been a person inconsistent in your life that you wanted to go places with even if it's a husband or a wife a person in the yang energy okay the masculine energy it's like if it's been rocky between you and another person you're just done with it you're over it because you you have set the boundary of i want peace in my life i don't want to deal with the stress i don't want to deal with the drama and if this person is always leading to stress or drama, I don't care. I, it's like, I don't want them back. I don't care if they come back. I am still saying no because I say no to drama. And to take this person back or to allow this person to stay, because it can also be that, it's like saying that I'm allowing drama. So there's something to um, releasing this. And it has a lot to do with also avoiding a storm that you don't see all right there might be a tower coming to a person a storm coming to a person it's not meant for you and the divine is going to lift you out of it because this is the ace of cups that is sent from heaven that is going to be sent to you to remove you from a situation before a tower hits a person or a place where you're at. If it's not a person, a tower could hit a place where you're at. It can literally be 
your country, your home, um, your neighborhood. You're moved out just in the nick of time. Yeah. Before stress breaks out, drama. The five of wands is reversed twice for the same position. You're being, and this is who you're aligning with. Okay, we have the lovers here. It's Gemini energy. There's nudity, so I have to uh, cover it. But it's like an angel. We have Archangel here. Archangel Michael overlooking these two in the garden. That's who you're aligning with. You can be aligning with the divine counterpart. You can be aligning with a very close person. But I can tell you that they're like you. Okay? They're like you. Give me the root. What's the root? Now we have the empress in the upright. And we have the seven of pentacles reverse. This is not wasting your time. If you are the person in the yen energy, or if you're married, or if you've been, whatever it was that you are waiting on, you're not waiting anymore. This is, I'm not waiting anymore. What am I waiting for? I'm not waiting to get my heart broken. I'm not waiting to be lied to. I'm not waiting to be part of somebody's stupid competition. I'm not waiting. This comes in as a result. As a result of not waiting for the worst, the best happens. Because apparently, waiting was going to lead to something here that you can't see, but it wasn't good. It was leading to bad energy. We got the, the tornado, the storm, the goblins. So whatever it is that you're moving away from, you're making the right choice. You're avoiding the storm. You're avoiding the goblins. You're avoiding this bad energy. And that puts you into an energy of abundance and attraction. And you, boy, oh boy, you're going to attract it here. Give me a card for the root. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You know, when it comes to yin and yang, gender doesn't apply. It's an energy. A man can be a yin. Um, or a woman can be a yang. It doesn't matter. We have the nine of swords reverse. You're going to be able to rest easier. Okay. Definitely rest easy once this happens. Once you move away. Um, or once you choose. Because you might not. You know. It's almost like you choose. You're like. I don't want to live in stress. I don't want to have to. Uh, be awake all night. Worried if something's going to happen. I don't want to have to worry about. You know. Being invaded in my home or my town or my character I don't want to be sitting around and waiting for the worst and you are literally moved out it's like you're gonna you're gonna ride the wave so literally as something approaches you are out I mean just look at this as something approaches you ride the wave out with somebody and it does remind me of the chariot because there's someone here on top guiding it's like an angel and an angel is guiding you and another person. Tell me about the past energy, please. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles reversed. This could be someone that you someone that you release, someone that you're close to from your past, and you let them go uh, for whatever reason. Haven't seen them even. It can be something like that. Tell me about the past. Okay. We have King of Swords, your energy in the past, recent past. And then we have the lovers. Again, the lovers. So this is a close connection. Gemini energy and the Eight of Swords. Someone's been thinking about you heavily or vice versa. But you're in the reverse. So maybe you're not aware of this. And we have the Three of Wands. You know, ships are coming in. There's a lot here to do with this. Knight of Cups is in the reverse. Help is on the way if you need it. Help is on the way. Or you're going to help somebody. But I do feel um, we do have Aquarius in the reverse. Why? This is in the past, so that's a lot. So this is energy of holding back, saving money, right? Holding on to. 
the past energy, like I said, Aquarius is in the reverse. And then we have this uh, Four of Cups, all right? Somebody not doing anything or making a move. Someone's aware of this, too. Maybe it's you. Maybe somebody was waiting for you to come back, you to make a move. And it's like, well, Aquarius isn't. Aquarius isn't. So then somebody decides, well, I need to make a move or I'm just going to stay stuck in this energy. So somebody, whether it's you, Aquarius, or someone external to you, because we do have Pisces energy, we have uh, Taurus, Libra energy, Gemini, um, Aries, and Aquarius, but it doesn't matter. This is an energy of someone's thinking about you or vice versa. This is the Six of Cups. I believe you're unaware. I believe that's why you're in the reverse. But somebody's like, look, if Aquarius isn't making a move to me, I'm not making a move to them. Somebody's got to make a move. And so that causes a return. Somebody's in the past here, recent past, saying, okay, if I want another chance or another opportunity, or if I want to see this person, because remember, we're starting off with love. This is the number one reason. If I want to see Aquarius... It looks like I'm going to have to make a move because either Aquarius isn't or Aquarius doesn't know how to find me or it comes to this. Or like I said, it could be roles reverse if you're dealing with an Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius saying, well, um, they're not making a move. So maybe I need to make a move. But I can say the one who is... In their energy and claiming it is Yen. And the one who is going to be making the move is Divine Masculine. So if you know who you are, if you are the Yang, you're making the move. If you are the Yen, they're making the move. Decision made. Two of Pentacles. Reverse. I believe that you two are in some sort of um, tele telepathic communication or spending time together in the dream state, 5D, or just sending messages to each other, thinking about each other, but there's been no heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Okay, so someone's deciding here who's going to reach out. Someone's making this decision, but they've come, they will make the decision. All right, or have recently made the decision about reaching out. So it looks like someone's going to reach out. We have the strength card reversed, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Wands, followed by Aquarius. Now, for some of you, there's going to be a Leo out of the picture and an Aquarius comes in. For some of you, there's a Leo who is walking away from an Aquarius because Aquarius hasn't made a move. All right. That was just the message that I got with that. What's the near future? What's the near future? This is an energy of holding back, okay, perhaps, or saving money. So somebody might be in an energy of holding back, saving money, because anyway, it's about a choice, a decision, um, or about getting clarity. There could be some confusion, so someone's holding back. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. All right. This came face down, so what you don't see here in the new, near future, there is an energy of holding back um, or saving because there's going to be a release. Now, either someone's going to release funds or someone's going to release a burden, all right, literally. Or a, this could be a yen energy, a divine feminine energy, releasing and moving from a home, moving from a place, um, or moving away from a person. What's the self energy? What's the self position? So somebody might literally be saving to move away because I do see that this is holding on to the purse. This is away from the town. We do have goblins here and then we do have the empress reverse and the home. So if somebody doesn't feel safe or happy or secure in a home, that is doing that. Um, and we have 
the Six of Wands reversed in the self position. So this might be some sort of awareness or self awareness that something's not going to grow, that a situation has been karmic. And it can be literally a place of where someone lives. All right. So where someone lives could be toxic, even if it's with a person. But we have Ace of Cups coming in. We have Ace of Cups coming in to a divine feminine energy, a yen energy. Tell me about that, Six. Landed on the Empress and the Knight of Swords reverse, and this is intuition. Your intuition might be guiding you on going into a new direction, and this new direction literally takes you out of the storm before it approaches. That is Virgo, Pisces energy. Tell me about the environment. What's the environment supporting or what is it that Aquarius doesn't see help? I'm telling you, I keep saying help is on the way. So it could be some sort of help that you're not expecting and it's coming. Tell me about this. Three of Pentacles, all right. That is teamwork, collaboration, working together, doing something together, or a small community of people, place uh, or a place, a small community. We have the Three of Swords. I just got a, a message. It's a specific message, but some of you might be um, part of disaster relief, helping those or, or being helped by those of disaster relief that's that's a specific message okay we have the six of swords reverse and the ten of wands reverse some of you or somebody here has maybe or the environment okay it's in the environment so that means it's the energy that surrounds and the energy that surrounds is there's some sort of sadness around the fact that there's a stuck feeling and it's like surrendering to that you know i'm sad because I can't change it, so I'm just going to surrender to the fact that it is this way right now, whatever it is, uh, because it's a Six of Swords reverse. So that's what the environment is. There is an environment of um, feeling like, like that or trying to make the best of a bad situation because I can't do anything about it at the moment. Give me a card to clarify that, please, for the environment me a card to clarify that it landed on the ten of cups the sun reverse leo energy somebody feels like some sort of happiness is unattainable here i don't know if that's you aquarius or someone external to you but i'm telling you somebody is avoiding a tower because of something here or somebody helps survivors in some sort of way Give me a card for the hope and the fears. Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. We have Strength in the Upright, which is also Leo. So this landed on the Three of Swords. This landed on um, sort of like the Two of Pentacles and in between here. This is the hope of finding that close connection or being in that close connection whether looking for it or not it's 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 a close tie whether it's with a person that you're going to build um, a loving relationship like a romantic one or just a loving relationship like with family or best friend but either way but this talks about time it's also virgo so if if the the hope and the it's really a hope this is not a fear there's something that you've been wishing for for a long time and it's this connection and it's either the type of connection you've wanted with somebody or it's a connection of someone from the past or it's a close connection that you just want to come into your life. This is what the hope is. All right. This is hoping for that. There's no, so it's a positive mindset as well because I don't see a fear. So that I do like that. Somebody's definitely manifesting in a positive way, having positive thoughts. Six of 
So, we have the Queen of Swords reverse, the King of Swords reverse. If, if you had any bad dealings with somebody, you're being taken away from that, okay? Or, or a person, or a divorce, or the goblin, okay? <laughs> These are goblins no longer being in each other's vicinity anymore. You're going to be removed. They're, they're going to be removed. Whatever is happening. The storm is avoided because just in time, somebody's out of there. And here's that safety net, that place, that stability, and that's with another person. You might literally align with another person and go and move and live with them. Meet a person, you guys get a place, maybe even go further, marriage. You could also live with a person or get a job or something that's like a second home to you, but it's you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it is what I want to say. That's what this is about. Not dealing with any more people that we want to say the word narcissistic, but not dealing with any more people like that. This is all a positive man manifestation. This is someone who's been manifesting a positive person to share their life with and, and to have a happy home. And this has been a long time coming and it, it, it is here and it's positive. So whoever has been manifesting this, it's about to happen soon the knight of pentacles is reversed so for me that's speeding up yeah this is a manifestation so some of you might not have even met this person might not have even met this person you might literally have to move or go to a new, lo new location to meet this person or to align with this person Tell me what the outcome is. Keep in mind, free will is always the number one factor here. You always have your free will. So please show me what the possible outcome is for this reading. If you're moving away from somebody who's made you cry too many times, you're meeting a beautiful connection. And it could be really interesting circumstances that bring you there so if, if there are some of you who are like look I'm just accepting the fact I can't change things I'm not happy here but I can't change things what you don't see is there's some sort of change coming some sort of help that you're going to get and it does seem like before the worst before the storm comes before the worst happens it's like you're out of there you and your stuff are out of there Give me another card for that Eight of Pentacles reverse. That might have to do with focusing or money or work. So, and star. See, I really don't feel like you see this coming because you're, you're, you know, Aquarius, you're reverse here. It's almost uh, like a blessing in disguise, a wish, but it's going to put you up a notch. I'm telling you. And your peace is going to return, especially if, if you've had a lot of sleepless nights. I got the full reverse. You don't know about this. There is something that you're unaware of. You're not expecting it. And it seems like the circumstances around it are out of your control for real. The circumstances are definitely out of your control of why you may have to go in another direction. Now, that's for some of you, okay? This is a general reading. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. You're not focused on this person. You don't know who they are or you're not aware or focused on them. It's because maybe you know who they are, but you're not focused on them. It's a Two of Cups reverse. You're not expecting this, but it's here. It's a manifestation that's happening. You have a manifestation happening. You have a new beginning, and it's going to be clear. It's going to be very clear. And now I have again Aquarius in reverse, star reverse. You are not expecting this, but this is this is uh, maybe even a high-profile person. Your status is going to come up. <laughs> maybe it's even you. Maybe it's even something that uh, you you just were not aware of. You just were not aware that this could happen. Give me a card for the star. Reverse. Mm. 
nine. It's a something that you let go of. It's like a wish you let go of, and it comes in. Isn't that a part of the manifestation, though? Part of the manifestation is letting go. That is one of the laws of attraction. You have to release the attachment to the outcome. And it's like the attachment to the outcome is released. Something you've let go of. And it could have to do with another person. And it's like, bam, it's here. It could lead to marriage. Or a solid commitment. A new contract that doesn't go anywhere. Especially if you're talking about, you know, business and finances. Opening up something. Opening the doors. It's going to be here for a long time. But it's you and another person aligning. And it's written for you to do that. The only thing that could stop this is your free will to say, no, I don't want it. But it looks like by taking this... You're avoiding something here that is, um, you don't know that it's coming. And it, like I said, it could come to your house, your town, your country, or your neighborhood. You don't know how it could happen. There's many ways that this storm can hit. It can be a literal storm. You could be in a, in a, in a community and there's like, there's some sort of gas leak and everybody's got to evacuate and you, you meet somebody or there's something, any, and how it happens is just, you, I can't sit here and even say it could happen any kind of way because it happens through the divine. The first card out is this is a, this is a blessing. It's a blessing that you surely don't see it. Every Aquarius card has come out reverse. This was a wish and it was something that you let go of. So if it was aligning with a person who was meant for you or aligning with someone that um, you love and you haven't seen in a long time. If it was aligning with uh, a, a good job or a solid contract, if you're into the business of contracts and making deals, whatever it is, you don't see it, you lost sight of it, you gave up on it, and it comes in. Mm -hmm. You gave up on it, and it comes in. For some of you, it can be a divine counterpart. For some of you, it can be a twin flame. I do have those cards that are here. I do have the lovers. I do have the four of wands. All right. Give me some advice. I want to thank everybody who showed up for the chat, who showed up for the video. I want to thank everyone. Thank you so much for being here. All right, two cards, one that you don't see face down and one you do here. And it says, your vibration is rising. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. So you're, you're shifting frequencies, and that because of that, you're aligning with a very high vibrational person on your frequency. You're leaving behind whatever th that was coming in here. You're avoiding the storm. You're missing, <laughs> you're leaving these ghosts and goblins behind because your frequency has risen. What you don't see. Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. So pay attention to the details now. All right, pay attention to the details, or this is a person who has got to pay attention to details, um, but whatever, whatever that is. Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll see you in your next reading, and namaste, my friends.